Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Yes, it is Debbie. <laughs> I'm not in disguise. <laughs> uh, I guess I should talk about acquisitions first. This is the only acquisition I have uh, this week. Um, I've decided to change my hair color. I needed a change. Uh, I'll probably go back to blonde uh, eventually, but I needed a change. Uh, but from what I understand, redheads it takes a lot of uh, effort to keep it red, so we'll see. Anyway, I don't have a lot to show you, and it's not going to be a very long video. Uh, what I wanted to um, to show you was, so I was on Instagram last week, and I saw that uh, Z from Zelda NRJ3 did a, l a little blanket from a tutorial by Jada and Stitches, and it's called baby blanket fan stitch tutorial or something like that and it brought back memories because this was the first blanket that I ever made and I've made it so many times and I'd forgotten how easy and how um, how great it is really easy and you get a great texture now the yarn that I'm using is Red Heart Hopscotch in the colorway Bicycle um, and this is I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing because it is quite... Now, it's a little on the uh, narrow side, but very, very long. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. My daughter has asked for many blankets and, and uh, pillows because she's outfitting her new home. She's got nothing. So I thought this would grow great on the back of a couch. You know, you get cold, just slip it on. Uh, very light. And now these are not her colors. She's requested very much neutral colors. And I told her no. <laughs> I said, you're either going to get wild colors or nothing. <laughs> anyway, she said, okay. Uh, so anyway, this is the little blanket. Now you can see the, the design. It's just a series of shells and, or fans as she calls them. I love it. I absolutely I actually want to keep this for myself um, yeah so this was in my stash this was yarn in my stash and um, that I had gotten a couple of months ago and uh, because of the wild nature I didn't think you know I don't know lots of people don't like the wild but I made it for her <laughs> anyway so I love that and then I had um, some skeins left over and I decided to just make a matching pillow now this believe it or not is just single crochet I went old school <laughs> I wanted to do uh, something that had no holes in it whatsoever and so I just did the single crochet and then put a pillow insert and just single crochet all the way around this is in a great 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 throw pillow um, and the way I do it is I don't know how other people stuff their pillows but uh, so I had a 14 by 14 inch pillow insert so I made the fabric 13 by 13 um, because then it I hate when pillows are empty you know like you know you know what I mean like empty so I make it always make it slightly smaller and then it's kind of stuffed so this is for my daughter I think you know it is the exact same yarn but I guess because of the two different stitches the colors they kind of don't match or well the colors match but the it doesn't look like a set but hey whatever it is what it is and uh, with her having nothing she'll love it so yes, I have, uh, that's all I've been up to. I've not finished the uh, Hannah's shawl yet. I'm almost finished, so it'll be done over this coming weekend. Um, yeah, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, after this, after I finish talking, I'm gonna insert a little clip. Uh, after my last video, after I finished filming it, I went to the mailbox and received a package. And uh, so I sat down and just uh, videotaped me opening it, and but I didn't want to put just that 
uh, onto YouTube. So I'm going to attach it at the end of this where I was still a blonde <laughs> and I opened up the package uh, for my a viewer in Australia. Thank you, Donna. Uh, that was very much a surprise and a wonderful one at that. So, uh, yeah, really short video. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll all be back on Monday for the draw for the giveaway. Thank you, and we'll talk soon. Okay, I'm back again. I did a video earlier today in two takes, and then I went out to the post office, and I have some happy mail. Now, I did read, uh, I did open the package, and did read the lovely letter from Donna. Um, I believe she is in Australia and uh, she sent me a lovely letter explaining the contents of this package, but I've not seen the package yet. So she said that I've inspired her to make a shawl for her daughter's wedding and that she's sending me the yarn that she used. She sent me three skeins and it is Ver Moda Vera Starlight 8 Ply. I'm not sure what 8 Ply is. Um, and it's 95% premium acrylic and 5% polyester. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's got different countries. I don't know where it's made. Made in Turkey. But it's a beautiful, and what is the colorway? Oh, they don't have a colorway. But it is pink with sparkle. The lady pays attention. She knows I like my sparkle. Okay. Oh, she did say, let me hold on a second. Um, um, a few buttons from her vintage collection. What? <laughs> oh my god. They're gorgeous. Look at this one. Look at that. Come on, focus. Oh, gorgeous. These ones look like they're mother of pearl or something like that. Look at that. And these look like they're leather. Look at that. Oh my god, they're awesome. Ten cents. <laughs> this will cost like eight, ten bucks nowadays. That's what it says. Ten cents. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at look at how great these buttons would look on this. Oh, gorgeous. So she's, and then she's attached a packet of her favorite chocolates. Packet of her favorite Dairy Milk Caramello Koala. <laughs> Look at this. Seriously, have to. Try it. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing I'm having a little bit of a craving for chocolate. And they're actually little koalas. <laughs> oh, they're filled. Mm. Oh, really good. I haven't had a caramel in forever. Wow, thank you, Donna. Um. Let's see, what else did she say? Here, who's a lamb? Mmm, so good. Um, then, she sent her favorite shawl pattern. And I'm thinking it's the Lost in Time. It's called Lost in Time by Mio Crochet, or is it Mijo? M-I-J-O. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I'm thinking that's her favorite shawl pattern. It's 
it's like huge. It's like, I don't know, 15 pages long. And there's like pictures and tutorials on here. I'm assuming that's the pattern that's her favorite. It smells so good. Um, and then she also included a pattern. It's called Cozy Crochet Wrap. There's the picture. And it looks like it's been well used. I don't know if these are paid for or not, but it looks like oh, one of those super scarves. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. This one might be my next project. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Two patterns. Wow. And then... Lastly, she made me a, uh, what does she call it? Just quit my own. Gypsy book. She was paying attention. A while ago I had said that I have gypsy blood in me. And I do. So she made me a gypsy Gypsy book. Not sure what a gypsy book is. It's made with some vintage. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Gonna open it. Oh my god, this is gonna take me forever to go through. It's full of gypsy images, crochet work, stitch markers. Like, oh my god! Look at these. Look. Oh my god, it's like um oh there's a look at this. Oh my god, it's full. It's full of old images and 1908 crocheted mohair head shawl. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> this is going to be some nighttime reading. Oh. To create, the meaning of create, to cause to come into being. To evolve from one's own thought or imagination. That's all of us. This is amazing. It reminds me of... I am she. Cynthia makes junk journals. This is like that, but with a theme. There is definitely a theme. Dictionary needlework. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, like this is amazing. This is definitely a keepsake. Oh, some beautiful images in here. Wow, look at this, look at the work. This is unbelievable. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading it already. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hold you. Wow, Donna, this is unbelievable. And I guess she has uh, an Etsy shop. 
It's called Believe Cottage. Vintage Fabrics Country Charm. I will definitely search her out and put it on the link below. Come on. Um, so I, now I have to go check her out. I really don't know her. We've not ex exchanged too many emails back and forth. She had mentioned asking me for my address. I gave it to her. I really know not, I know very little of her. Now I want to know more. And I'll start with her Etsy page. And if you're interested, uh, I'll leave the link below too. Um, yeah, this, this video is done on the same day as the last video, but I'm going to be adding at the end of the next video. Anyway, thank you so much. This is such a keepsake. And uh, now I'm off. I'm going to go check her out. Thank you very much.